So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how you can convert a number to a string in JavaScript. So first of all, we'll take a look at the preferred way of doing it, and then we'll take a look at a couple of other options, and then finally we'll compare those options to see which one is the best in terms of performance. So let's say we have a variable called myValue that has a number, which can either be an integer or a decimal number, and we can check that the type of that uh, is indeed a number by using the type of operator and our job is to convert it into a string. So the preferred way of doing this, uh, and I'll explain why in just a second, is to use the string boxing object. So we just put my value inside of here and that will just take the value that's stored in the variable and convert it into a string as you can see here on the right hand side and just to double check with the type of operator you can see that is definitely a string. And one thing to note with this approach, you don't want to use the new keyword here. You don't want to create a new string object because as you can see, that will actually give you uh, something completely different in the output. It will give you an object that represents the string that the number has been converted to. So this is the preferred way of doing it. And a couple of other options that you've got to you is to use the to string method on the number as well. So if we just uh, access the my value variable and then just call, there's a function available in there called to strings. We can just call that. And the last option is to use some coercion to actually uh, add another string or an empty string onto the my value variable. So it would look something like this. And this works because JavaScript is adding these two values together and ultimately it's saying that it should be a string rather than trying to add an empty string to a number. So there's the different options for changing a number to a string in JavaScript. And as mentioned, this is the preferred option. And there's a few reasons for that. Uh, firstly, it's a bit cleaner, a bit simpler to read. You can see exactly what's going on, whereas this is a little bit messy, uh, adding the empty string together. But the real reason for using this string method up here is because if you have a slightly more complicated type of number value that you're trying to convert into a string, then calling the toString function or using this method here, which calls a function underneath as well, might not guarantee that you will get the answer that you're expecting to. So in pretty much 99% of the cases that you'll use this, it will work fine. But there's that one possibility where there might be a slightly more complicated number value come in and these methods don't work correctly. So we should use the string method up here, but which one actually offers you the best performance? Well, I've just run some benchmarks against the three different methods here. And actually, you can see that the string method that we mentioned earlier is actually the worst performing, uh, whereas actually concatenating an empty string, adding a string to the number, actually gives you the best performance. But as you can see, there's not really too much in it. There's only f literally a few percentage points. So uh, unless you're really worried about performance, then there shouldn't be any problem in using any of these methods. So there you go. There's some options for converting numbers to strings in JavaScript. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.